Okay, so iOS 16.2, the software is expected to be released mid to late December. It is now December the 12th, and the software is expected to be released as early as this week on the week of the 12th of December. By the time you watch this video, the software may be out. However, I've been running the software for nearly a week as Apple released the Gold Master or Release Candidate to developers. And there's a few things I wanted to share with you guys before you decide to update to iOS 16.2 before Apple releases the major update. Date. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, there's a few things that are good about iOS 16.2 that I wanted to share with you guys, and there's a few things that are not as good that I also wanted to share with you guys. So let's start up with the good news. The good news is that 5G is finally coming to India. So if you're in India, good news, guys, you guys will now be 5G enabled on iPhone, and you can go ahead and take advantage on any iPhone that supports 5G and connect to those faster network speeds in India. So that's good news with iOS 16. 16.2. Now, another great thing about iOS 16.2, speaking of network connection, Apple is now improved the network compatibility with wireless carriers across the world with iOS 16.2. So if you were having data speed issues, connection issues, or even drop calls or call quality issues, iOS 16.2 aims to improve the cell network connection with carriers across the world. So great news there as well. So 5G to India and improved compatibility with wireless carriers i'm sure most of you guys are happy to learn this now i have to say that i've seen improvements as i mentioned i've been running the software for about a week now as apple released the release candidate final build to developers and i'm seeing great results with the network compatibility another feature that apple has improved for iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max with ios 16.2 is under emergency sos and that's going to be the crash detection and now crash detection i'm sure you guys heard the headlines where it was activating when users would get in roller coasters. I personally tested this feature and Apple has now launched a new optimized version for iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max that does not activate when on a roller coaster. And I did personally test this myself with iOS 16.2 and it looks like the software definitely has an optimized version of crash detection for iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. And last but not least, this one isn't unique to iOS 16.2, but it is something that Apple has added server side and I think most of you guys should know i'm happy to report that for those of you guys that are living in colorado apple has now added the colorado digital wallet for the driver's license again this isn't unique to ios 16.2 but not many have covered this since this was enabled server side it did not require an update just letting you guys know in colorado you can now use digital driver's license now i want to shift my attention to the not so good things that i've noticed in regards to ios 16.2 and the number one thing i want to talk about is screen time now, if you have children and you have screen time enabled, keep an eye out because I've noticed within the past week of the release candidate running on my device, screen time has been turning off randomly at different times of the day. I'm not sure why, but screen time settings have been resetting completely and completely shutting off for me on the latest iOS 16.2. So again, if you're running screen time on your device for yourself or someone else in your family, screen time is disabling on its own. So keep an eye out on screen time for iOS 16.2. I've submitted this bug to Apple and it looks like they're looking into this situation. Another issue that I've noticed with me and some family members as well is that Wi-Fi within iOS 16.2 randomly disconnects while on FaceTime calls. And I've noticed this happening over and over again. So Wi-Fi continues to have issues with stability and it's not as persistent as it was with previous softwares. In iOS 16.2, I continue to have issues over the past several days with Wi-Fi disconnecting when on a FaceTime call. It just refers back to the cell network and sometimes the call quality just isn't as good. And the last but not least, before you update to iOS 16.2, I did want to talk about the battery because you guys always ask in regards to the battery. I am running, as I mentioned, the final build for a couple of days now, and I do have to say that the battery battery gets me through the entire day and I'm happy to report that that's good however it's just not as good as it was within iOS 15 I would like to say right it is long leap a different softwares of course but it looks like the battery just isn't as good this is iPhone 14 Pro Max on iPhone 13 Pro Max running iOS 15.7 the battery is better and it should be better on the iPhone 14 I'm not saying that the battery experience would be the same for everyone but just 
Keep in mind the battery is good and on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it gets me through the entire day. Just isn't as good as it was with iOS 15 devices, same size devices basically, right? So 13 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max, different OSs. It looks like it's struggling just a little bit more than it did before, but it is okay, I guess. So again, the battery is always going to depend on how much you use your device, but I use my devices basically the same over and over and it looks like it was better before. It gets me through the entire day, but not as good. Thank you for watching, guys. Just a quick update. iOS 16.2 will most likely be released by the time you watch this video on the week of December the 12th. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know if there's any issues on your end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.